Seeing that someone made a video response to me, I suppose I should entertain you guys. All right, so the atheist gamer just made a video about uh, transgender bathrooms, not understanding the irony of the situation. And what is so ironic? Him telling people where they should shit. Oh, I get it, because I made a joke about diarrhea. Dear atheist gamer shits his pants! That's your only counter-argument, isn't it? Um, not really gonna be arguing for anything that, uh, it's pretty much been already done to death. So you're admitting that you don't have an argument to begin with, and this entire video is just you mocking me. No counterpoints whatsoever. Well, this is gonna be great. There's people more articulate than me that have done that, but I just think there's a lot of funny things he says in the video, and I'm gonna point them out. Understatement of the year. So here we go. Before I begin this video, I want to make a quick announcement. Some of you are already aware that my video on BuzzFeed has already been blocked worldwide. I feel like he's a little bit proud of that, this little no-name YouTuber getting attention from BuzzFeed. That's just a little side note. Oh yeah, I'm so unbelievably proud that my video was blocked worldwide by BuzzFeed. I'm so fucking happy that these people got off their high and mighty chairs just to take down little old me. I am so happy that I was censored. Fucking moron. Hey, go, fuckers. I know you guys are dicks, but this is just plain stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna have to re-edit the video so it, it, it appeals to these, you know, these retarded people's standards. Well, not gonna let that one get past me. Um, ableism aside, you're the last person that should be calling anyone retarded. I'm the last person to call someone a retard? I'm not the one who spent money on a tattoo that no one else will see. And what does it say? Obel? Is that short for adorable or trouble? I can't really tell if it's an O or a U. But honestly, who spends money on a tattoo that is that fucking lame? If you're gonna have a tattoo, at least have some fucking cool designs outside of just plain words. Or are you too cheap, cheap, cheap? Did mommy get you that tattoo for your 16th birthday? You know, with the whole shitting the pants thing, the whole stuttering thing. The whole lisp thing. What is even more ironic is this man can't tell the difference between a joke and real life. Yeah, I stutter at times, but I get to the point that needs to be made. And the lisp? What fucking lisp? I don't replace my S with Z's and vice versa. Do you see this? This moron is trying to debunk me. Again, just another side note. Being said, a friend of mine by the name of Swiss Guy has asked me on the topic of transgender bathrooms. And this was on the back of my mind for a while now, and honestly, there's really nothing much that I can say that's already been said by many YouTubers, which include Paul Joseph Watson. That's right. Infowars, human meat calculator, Paul Joseph Watson. That's who he gets his advice from. And what's wrong with him? Explain, dude. Is he too right-wing for you? Where's your counterpoint, boy -all? Target has already made transgender bathrooms, stating that anyone can use any bathroom. So, if you're a man who chooses to live life with a female, but don't put much effort into transitioning into a woman, or... You don't put any effort to looking like a human atheist gamer. So, again, pot calling the kettle black. I don't put any effort into looking like a human? Is that really the best counter-argument you can offer? Just an insult that I'm not even human? Wow, you must be extremely smart with your God how much money you spend on that too that no one will ever see. Seriously, I can make better insults than you and I don't even have to try. You suck so much banana dick and no girl is gonna like you cause you look like a fat rejected version of Justin Bieber. No evidence presented. Fine, I needed to use the restroom and I just wanted to get a clarification on your new restroom policy. Is it true that men are not allowed to use the women's room? If, I mean, I, I sometimes get... You're asking the same question that gets asked you today about that. Now, is that not true? Well, I would... Sometimes I get uncomfortable in the men's room and I just wanted to make sure I was allowed to go in the women's room. 
Let me have my AP guy okay, say, great. tell it since he explained it yesterday. Hey, AP, Gerard, can I give you the answer? Thank you, I appreciate it. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? What's your name, Gerard? Gerard. Hi, my name's Andy. Okay. I just came by because I wanted to make sure that I was allowed to use the women's room before I went in. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's correct. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. Yes. Okay. If any of the women have a problem, you let them know that. Yeah, they they can come and we get we'll speak to them. Okay, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank no you. problem. Funny on how you much research this dumbass has done. I mentioned Paul Joseph Watson for a reason, because they've shown a few articles where people have already abusing the bathrooms. But of course, this is you we're talking about, someone who barely makes YouTube videos and all he does is mock people on the internet. Just double checking. Nope, nothing in the description either. Keep going. And that's the issue here. Anyone can just say, I'm a woman, and deny me to come here as being transphobic. And I can send you to jail. Listen, you're transitioning into a male or female. I don't really care about it. I have fans who want me that are transgender. However, doubtful. Oh yeah, you know my fan base all so well. I totally have no transgender fans. Persephone sixty six is not really trans. She's just a man in a wig who happens to sound like a girl. Oh, and Swifty Sky VA? It's not really binary, he's just a man pretending to be a woman sometimes. And he's just wearing makeup just to join in a group of people who feel like they're special little snowflakes. Yes, thank you for confirming of all of my subscribers who are evil cisgender white males. Mr. 1800 subscribers. Many of them understand that you don't just put on a wig or a dress and use the female bathroom. If you're legitimately transitioning, then maybe the very first thing you should do is wait a little while. A lot of people can't afford hormone replacement therapy. A lot of people can't afford the surgeries that would uh, make you have more typical feminine features or typ typical masculine features. Finally, an actual counterpoint. Yes, I understand that. But it still takes some fucking effort to transition. People don't just decide one day that they want to become the opposite sex. They go talk to people and decide for themselves over time that this is the right thing for them to do. But, like I presented before, Target is allowing anyone to just walk into any bathroom they choose. So really, these transgender bathrooms aren't even transgender bathrooms, just fucking bathrooms that any man could just enter because they feel like it. So if you feel a tad scared that a man is in a woman's bathroom, Target advice is SUCK IT UP! You're just assuming that everyone can afford to immediately look like Laverne Cox, but that's not the reality of the situation. Didn't I say that in my video about Jacqueline Gann where you can't just magically transform into a girl and it takes fucking merit? In fact, let me play the clip right now! Most transgender people can pass with a, through fine colors. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell that they're fucking trans uh, unless they just started transitioning. Which then, you could tell a little bit that they just started transitioning into a, ma a male or a female. I mean, it's, it, being transgender isn't exactly like being, you know, it's not, not some fucking Cinderella story where, you know, your fairy gamma just, you know, pokes you where it wants and say, whoop, I'm a woman now! And it's not like it's a fucking, you know, sign in our fucking forehead saying, we're transgender! <laughs> and I don't see it on your forehead either, track, Jacqueline. In fact, let's put that on your forehead, just, you know, just for fun. Let's say I were a transgender woman, for example. I can't go into the women's bathroom because all the women are going to think that I'm some kind of weird pedophile, which is ridiculous. And then I can't go into the men's bathroom either because if I walk in looking like a woman... So, who didn't do any research? The guy who just showed evidence, or the guy sitting in his underwear with God know how much money he spent on a shitty tattoo who's making a video in his bedroom. Some people just have to, you know, deal with the hand they're dealt. For those hormones kick in, 
So that way you look more convincing as a girl. And the same can be said for trans men. And again, I've seen at least two instances of masculine-looking women who identify as women being harassed and kicked out of public restrooms. Anecdotal evidence is anecdotal. This does not represent the massive majority, nor does it hold any water. Hell, how do I even know you're even, you're not making this shit up? And when it boils down to it, it's my word against yours. So this whole bathroom scare thing has caused more uh, harm than good, I guess. You don't even have to get surgery as long as you get your hormones and testosterone in your body. And you should have the right to enter the bathroom you wish to go in. How merciful of you. Yes, bow down to the mighty gamer who also happens to be an atheist. And keep in mind that it takes time. This is not some fucking Cinderella story where your fairy godmother just transformed you into the princess yet you desire. It takes merit. And to those who are neither gender, those, you know, their gender or both genders, or creating some form of new gender out the ass, and you demand that we need these gender fluid bathrooms, you're fucking cancer. Cancer. No hyperbole here. You're cancer. Best counter argument ever. You're cancer. Quote by a guy named Coley with a cheap tattoo. The rest of the video, he points out on how I'm retrending the amazing atheist old quotes, even though sometimes he still uses it. I was inspired by many YouTube atheists at the time, so of course you might see me as a mere copy and paste of pretty much every YouTube atheist, but thanks to social justice warriors, there's a massive divide between the atheist community. And guess who's on the logical side? Well, not little old Cody with his cheap tattoo in his poor underwear. Yeah, why don't you make a good video instead of simply mocking folks? Because, you know, it's good to think rationally. I am the Atheist Gamer, and peace the game out. <laughs> and Cody, get a real fucking tattoo.